I got the new Tsunami RDA. They've been pumping out some really nice things lately. Tsunami is a two post velocity style deck. It looks very similar to the Kennedy. Airflow is the same. The biggest difference between this and the Kennedy is this has a two post velocity style deck. I'm running a dual alien coil on this provided to me by Cloud Kings. Uh, go see those guys for all your custom built coils. I'm running it on my lava box by Volcano DNA 200 and I'm vaping on some uh, Kumo Crazed. Uh, it's a brand name and the flavor is Clouded Cream. It's an 80-20 VG blend. I'm going to be reviewing this juice in the near future. I've got their full line. Flavor for the amount of cloud production and the amount of airflow it produces the flavor is great. I have been spoiled by a previous review. Um, that RDA that I did, the Petri, has spoiled me. But again, it doesn't have the airflow like this does. It bottom airflow and it's never leaked on me. The way that, and you'll see that from the close up, the style of the air, the deck is reason why it doesn't. Where you have the two posts and I've been dripping right down the center, hasn't leaked on me. It goes, soaks up my cotton, it wicks. With the Kennedy, it had that that three post design and if you drip down it's going to splatter off that, that middle post and it's going to go down your airflow and it's going to leak. This doesn't leak. It has airflow options for single and dual coil. The post holes are big. It's two millimeters by three millimeters big. The, the holes you can put in some pretty good builds in there. It comes with three different types of drip tips. Comes with the one that I have on here today and you'll see them in the close up. It's got the uh, angled dollar and uh, 14 millimeter wide drip tip. Uh, it comes with a normal 14 millimeter wide dollar and drip tip and as well a 12 millimeter stainless steel 510 drip tip and it also has a 510 adapter. It comes in black and stainless steel. Uh, the insulators are made at a peak and the 510 pin is gold plated and adjustable. The clouds and like I said for the amount of airflow and the amount of cloud this produces, the, the flavor is awesome. All right, so enough about this RDA. Let's dive down, have a closer look, and I'll break it down, show you what comes in the package. We'll come back up, give you some pros and cons. We'll have some more vape on it. All right, up close look at the new Tsunami RDA by Geek Vapes. Packaging's great. Front has a picture of your atomizer on the front, Geek Vape symbol on the side, their website, Tsunami, scratch and sniff snicker. You can check to see if yours is authentic. Some warnings, keep out of the reach of children. Again, Geek Vapes, made in China. And on the back just gives you a picture of the deck, some important information what it's made of. Okay, let's open it up and see what's inside. First thing you're gonna see is what your kit contains, a little piece of paper, what it has on there, some description, breakdown, measurements, that sort of thing. First thing, your atomizer, the Tsunami, comes with a angled wide bore drip tip. It also comes with your standard wide bore drip tip and a standard 510 drip tip, stainless steel. And the other two are made out of Dalaran. And let's dig deeper in the box. And you're gonna see your little bag of goodies, some extra O-rings, post hole screws, your Allen key, and a 510 adapter. At the top is your wide bore drip tip, and it is screwed into the top cap. And the same with your, your standard wide bore. It's, it's threaded. 
So it just screws right in there. And for your standard 510 drip tip, it has the 510 adapter, which again, just screws into the top. And then you can use your custom drip tips. Nice and snug fitting. Okay, and to remove that, to remove the adapter, you just put your thumb there, a little bit of pressure, twist to the left, and just unscrews. All right, so closer look at the airflow options on this. Okay, so there it's open on one side, fully open on the other, and to adjust it, you just turn it to the right. And it does have single airflow or dual airflow options. You can run a single or dual coil in this. So you see it's open on one side, closed off on the other. And again, just to adjust it, turn it to the right, it's wide open there. Wide open there, half closed, half closed. Okay, and there's your deck. Two post velocity deck, nice wide post holes for your builds, two post hole screws in each post, and your bottom airflow. And I like the way they've done the, the tubes for your airflow and the deck for your wick is nice and wide down here so once you have your coils mounted you just tuck your cotton in beside the airflow and you can see your 510 pin that comes up through there through your positive it has two o-rings there to secure your your top cap airflow hole there airflow hole here and some nice laser etching, Tsunami, written on the side. And on the bottom, so again, some nice laser etching, designed and manufactured by Geek Vapes, my serial number, peak insulator, and your gold-plated 510 pin, which is adjustable on this. Okay, so there you have it, Tsunami by Geek Vapes. So there's your deck, your top cap, Standard wide bore drip tip, angled wide bore drip tip, stainless steel 510 drip tip, and bag of goodies with your Allen key, extra o rings, extra post hole screws, and your 510 adapter. All right, so let's come back up top. We'll talk about it a little bit more, give you my pros and cons. We'll have a vape on it. Welcome back up top guys, there you have it, up close look at the new Tsunami by Geek Vapes. I'm very impressed, like I said, uh, cloud production. Hitting it at 90 watts, uh, that coil that I'm running is coming in at 0.1, flavor's great. Gonna put some more juice on here. Like I said, I I don't normally with a bottom flow air bottom airflow RDA. I paint my wick. Uh, you just you know how you paint your wick. You just you know along the coil and then you know very gently make sure you don't get it down inside the airflow. With this, right down the center, hasn't leaked on me yet. This is beautiful. Like I said, you just put it in the center. Your uh, your wick soaks it up. Put your cap on. Huge, huge clouds. Um, one thing I did forget to mention the first, post hole screws were the biggest improvement that Geek Vapes has done. Uh, what they did is they, they took their, their post hole screws and they put it through a process that it hardens it by a 1200 degree uh, nitrogen uh, treatment, which basically, these you're not going to strip these screws. I, I've built on this a few times. Uh, I haven't yet stripped my screws. In, in the past, with uh, the Griffin, I think I have two post hole screws left, uh, and extra, I've stripped, I've stripped two. 
They've improved that, huge improvement. Massive, massive clouds. And again, flavor's great. Uh, I'm pretty impressed by the flavor. Uh, that's the, one of the biggest things I was worried about with this RDA is that the amount of airflow that's on this, I'm actually quite impressed with the flavor. You can close it off to get, get better flavor, uh, but I'm running it wide open. Huge, huge clouds. Some of the pros. The pro is the airflow. Best bottom airflow RDA that I have used yet. Drip tip selection. I mean, it comes with three. It comes with that angled one, your regular wide bore, and your stainless steel 510. That's awesome. Normally you get one, maybe two. The Velocity Deck, of course, I'm a big fan. As well as you know, I'm a big fan of the Velocity Deck. I love it. It's so easy to build on. Such an easy deck. It's got lots of room in there, as you've seen. Again, doesn't leak. Has not leaked on me once, and it's due to the style of the deck. Absolutely. Cons. The, I only have two cons about this, and one of them was the Allen key that it comes with. Due to the process that those post hole screws have gone through uh, to make them so hard and so durable, I've actually stripped the Allen key. First time ever that I've ever stripped an Allen key and not the screw. Um, yeah, it, they definitely need to improve the Allen key that it comes with. Um, something like the, the Twisted Messes version 2 that it comes with. Something durable. Now, the second con that I have I don't know if it's mine or not, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but the cap on mine does not sit flush. Don't know if you can see that on camera or not, uh, but there is um, my cap, and I've tried to push it down as hard as I can, and it won't fit tight. There is, you can see part of the deck um, right above the airflow hole in there. When I put my cap on, you can still see, and I've tried I don't know how many times to push that down and you can still see part of the deck in there And again, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that on camera or not again. It might be just mine I don't know but again the, the cap the cap should fit tight the cap should fit tight It's only a small thing, but I'm very picky the way things look and the way things fit There you have it, Tsunami by Geek Vapes. Would I suggest you guys to buy it? Absolutely. I do believe it sells for $39.99. So I mean, it's a very affordable RDA. Uh, the Kennedy, I'm um, not sure how much that went for or is going for still. I think it's between $90 and $100. So if you're looking for an affordable RDA that has awesome airflow and great taste too, Geek Vapes Tsunami. So if you like my video, you like my reviews, please, Click the button at the bottom, subscribe to my channel, and I'm going to have more videos for you guys in the future. So until then, play safe, build safe, and vape on.